Hi guys, my name is Maria Toka. I'm a digital collage artist. You may know me from my Instagram, Minimal Layout. Or maybe you have no idea who I am if you just came from YouTube. And um, you can check out my Instagram and you can see what kind of things I'm doing. And today I'd like to talk to you about a 365 project, which is a pretty well-known thing in design community on Instagram. It has been around for a while, I would say maybe for five years or so since I've first heard of it. It's nothing specific, it's not that somebody invented it, I don't know, it just happened accidentally. I guess, because it's a, just a good practice for any uh, creative person to practice their uh, craft on a daily basis. It just makes sense to grow your skills. So basically what that is, is it, the concept is very simple. Just to create one artwork every single day for 365 days, which is one year. And obviously <laughs> put it out on your Instagram and just to see what happens and um, normally people expect a lot of benefits from it um, pretty reasonably I would say. Um, regarding my <laughs> my own experience with this project I first started it a long time ago about uh, five years ago or four years ago, I don't remember exactly. I used to have a different Instagram account. I was, I've been doing not collages by that time. I've been doing posters, mostly typography based. I used images sometimes in them, but uh, I was mostly focusing on typography. And I wasn't as brave as uh, set myself a challenge to make 365 posters because I was working full-time back then and um, I just knew <laughs> it's not gonna happen I'm not gonna stay consistent for the whole year around and I set myself a challenge for 100 posters and I finished it obviously I skipped a lot of days but I still managed to finish it yeah back then I remember one of the first designers who started this challenge were like who I remember who I personally followed was Roy Cranston, Bao Gazim, uh, Clarence Maluta. I think he's still doing every day for fifth or sixth year straight. I don't know <laughs> how the hell he manages to stay so consistent for so many years. But um, yeah, huge respect to him. And I managed to make 100. Then I continued a little bit, but not many I produced since then. And then I abandoned my account. I got busy with the other work. I wasn't focusing on any sort of creative outlet on Instagram. And um, a bit later, I think a couple of years after that, uh, just about a year ago, I would say, I started this challenge again on my new account, relatively new, it's uh, a little bit newer than my previous one. And I started focusing on collage art. And today I can say that I'm on a day 287 and Bear in mind, I skipped a lot of days, okay? So ideally, I should have finished it already if I would make one artwork every single day without any skip day. But that's not realistic, is it? Just how the hell are you gonna do this? But still, I... I try to stay more or less consistent with this. So I'd like to talk to you about benefits of this project. Uh, benefits are obvious that it gives you opportunity to produce content on a regular basis. It's not that you couldn't do it without this challenge. 
you certainly could but it's just uh, just makes you a little bit more disciplined and the next benefit derives from it it allows you to structure your workflow a little bit better in my opinion uh, especially if you're doing it at the same time every day it uh, just creates the routine for you and it's easier to produce every single artwork when you have a routine for it rather than waiting for inspiration when you feel like it and just make one artwork a month obviously you're gonna progress 30 times slower (laughs) than a person who is doing it every day in my view quantity eventually um, improves your quality in most cases at least also very subjective benefit which I consider a benefit is that the format of this uh, of this challenge is producing one artwork a day which means you're gonna make it in a couple of hours <clears throat> it's not a long-term project and for a person as impatient as me that works really well because if it was if we compare it with any long-term project there is less of a chance to burn out or um, to get tired of this because I tend to get tired of projects if I'm doing them for too long too long period of time yeah I don't I don't like it sometimes I'm I do them but uh, it's just harder to stay focused and uh, to keep my enthusiasm and another benefit which probably attracts so many people to even embark on this journey is growing your audience and gaining a lot of followers and recognition yes i can say that it definitely helps with this but it's not a guarantee if you're doing 365 projects it doesn't guarantee your followers you can do it for five years and still gain i don't know (laughs) 10 followers out of that but we will get back to this in another video where i talk about how to grow your instagram so it helps in a way but not always not to everyone if you do it in the right way in the right format or if you're lucky so it it just there is no guarantee that's what i want you to uh, keep in mind and let's talk about downsides a little bit well uh, i see just one downside but sorry i forgot about one more benefit a huge benefit <laughs> how could i forget about it is developing your own art style this is a huge benefit especially if you have been designing something for a while but you have no idea what is your art style if you if you don't know what exactly you like more and um, your work is not recognizable among other people's work and you would like to develop some sort of your own creative voice, that's a great project for this because the more you practice, the more you understand, the more you learn, the more you experiment and um, all that good stuff. That's a huge benefit. So now let's go down to downsides. I found one huge downside is that you need to do it every day you need to stay consistent and how the heck are you gonna do this if you're not a robot if you're a human being that's that's the question because especially if you have any other life apart from instagram if you have a job or a school that you're gonna that you need to go to if you do anything else in life other than that there are going to be moments when you feel like it's not your number one priority in life and that's why you kind of have to skip a day and not to do it today because uh, something more important comes up i don't know maybe you're going what what if you're going on a holiday and um, how you're gonna produce 
artwork there if you don't take your laptop with you or you go in with your friends and you you don't even have time to uh, to work during your holiday because holiday is holiday you're supposed to have rest and not to work there that's just one example (laughs) what can go wrong Uh, so it means that you failed the challenge but there are solutions to this We'll, we'll get to that in this video and actually let's go to the solutions right now i can give you my a few recommendations what i can advise you how to be more consistent and how to actually do this uh, challenge based on my experience what worked for me first of all i think it's better to keep your expectations as low as possible let go of perfectionism if you're a perfectionist it's gonna be really tough for you (laughs) i don't know how you do it maybe if just explaining it to yourself doesn't work maybe you should go to the therapist and work on this mindset with them but perfectionism is really your your enemy on this project uh yeah that's what i felt uh anyways keep your expectations as low as possible and just view this project as an exercise you don't have to produce really good high quality work every day you're not a robot even robot can't produce it like you're not i don't know some genius artist that even genius artists they don't have to produce (laughs) perfect work and this is pretty obvious concept, but a lot of people still forget about it. So I just felt like uh, it's worth reminding you that. The next thing is that to skip days is okay. Don't blame yourself for it. It doesn't mean that you failed. Just skipping one day is totally fine. Nobody's gonna notice. Nobody's watching precisely what you're doing. Nobody's monitoring your journey. You're doing it only for yourself. So nobody gives a a shit about everyone else. As sad as it sounds. On the other hand, you feel relieved because um, you can do whatever you want. But just keep in mind that if, if you skip too many days, maybe this challenge is not for you. Maybe you're just not enjoying this whole thing. And uh, yeah, just think about it. What, why this is happening. Or maybe you're just not at the right stage of your life for this challenge. Just analyze what's going on. The next thing is that if you don't have much time during the day for another collage or a poster or whatever kind of artwork you decided to do, it's good to have a list of easy, quick solutions. You know, some kind of drafts. That's going to help you (laughs) a lot. On your way uh, you don't have to experiment every single time you can just copy what you've done already and do it slightly differently and that's okay too i guess it's better than um, not doing anything it's still some practice some kind of exercise so why not another thing is just having a list of ideas in general is very very helpful just when you're stuck uh, don't don't have any new ideas in mind it's good um, to have some list in your notes yeah the next thing is uh, just overall feeling about this project it should feel like it's your creative outlet not a chore not the work that you have to do just don't maybe don't even call it work it's not work it's like you're supposed to enjoy it like really enjoy you can express yourself on this project use it in kind of a selfish way if there is something you feel the urge to talk about but you have nobody to talk about this you can think of a way how you can express this in your art Um, just think about topics that bother you so much you will feel really satisfied and relieved after you express it in your art so that's a huge benefit you can take advantage of uh, producing art on a regular basis so this opportunity to speak up at at least somebody on instagram 
we'll see uh, your opinion if you can't find these people uh, in real life. That's a huge benefit and it's really good for introverts, by the way. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.